you just say that? <laughs> Did you just say that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yo, that was a $50 million pick six. That's what that was. <laughs> Gotta get up out of here, dude. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the Patriots. What is up, Raider Nation? It's your boy, Ray John, coming at you with another video. And the Raiders just pulled it off, man. The Raiders just beat the New England Patriots in Las Vegas. And, man, that was a wild one, man. That was a wild one. I'm not going to front. Uh, I had to get out of the house. Uh, I was getting a little crazy at the end there. Uh, shit, man. It, it's... It's wild, bro. It's like my Raiders always do this kind of shit to me, man. They they always they they get me to the lowest of the lows, and then they bring me to the highest of the highs with these amazing ass fucking games like this one. Um, there were some bad sides to this game. Actually, uh, there were a lot of bad sides to this game. There were there were a few different bad sides to this game, man. So, a few things that I didn't really enjoy in this game uh Raiders run defense was on a milk carton today they were nowhere to be found uh we were getting ran the fuck over man uh it, it was pretty bad uh other thing I didn't really like today was uh a couple of decision making uh there were just a couple of things that we need to clean up there's one route where Devontae Adams was wide the fuck open <laughs> and Darren Waller kind of just ran into the route and it, it it seemed like he didn't know what the fuck he was doing because Derek Carr had a beeline to him like a straight fucking shot delivered the ball right on time right on target and I was like yeah 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 Adam gonna catch that that's what that's the first thing that popped in my head Adam's gonna catch that and I don't know what the fuck Waller tried to catch it and it batted up in the air and it was yeah it, it went down in, in completion um yeah we got to clean up we got to clean up a few things another thing typical um overall fucking penalties man but look we won the game i should be excited but man i gotta tell you them penalties us uh, shooting ourselves in our fucking foot. Over and over and over and over again. It's like, you know what? Pop, shot myself in the foot. Can you still walk? Yeah. Hold up. Pop, shot myself in the other foot. <sighs> Can you crawl? Yeah. Hold up. Pop, shot myself in the fucking knee. It's like we're making it way more difficult than it has to fucking be. And yes, we crawled our ass to a fucking victory today. But y'all need to clean that shit up. Ah, uh, okay. Time for the good shit. Time for the good shit. The Las Vegas Raiders finally figured out how to win without Devontae Adams. The New England Patriots took his ass out of the fucking picture, guys. We did not have a very good game with Devontae Adams today. It wasn't. I'm just gonna be real. Devontae had a bad get had a bad game, bro. It, it is what it is. Balachek will do that to you. He will. He will. Balachek will, will do that to you. So uh, that's to be expected. You know, uh, if if you got a if you got a number one wide receiver that has been balling out and killing defenses left and right and just owning motherfuckers, they're gonna game plan the fuck out of him and take him out of the equation. That's what Balachek does. Uh, but you know. We managed. Uh, I got to give it to Derek Carr in this game. He did very well today. Neither. It wasn't like he played pitcher perfect, all right? It wasn't a ace game for him. Fuck. The thing that started pissing me off about Derek Carr was this, all right? When there was a, you know, pressure in his face, which there was a lot of, let's let this not be mistaken. This did not come easily. This win did not come easily. The Patriots defensive line was getting after it, man. It seemed like our line wasn't there sometimes. 
or that we didn't, we were, honestly, in this game, when I was watching their pass rush, it seemed like we were a man short on the line almost every single fucking time they had a free guy with a free shot on Derek Carr. And he was running for his fucking life. So I understand he's going to throw the ball away a few times. I understand he's going to run out of the pocket, then toss it into the fucking stands. I understand he's going to make those kind of choices, but what, frustrated me was there were times where they ran in and I see an open lane on the right side or the left side or somewhere where there's a fucking lane and he doesn't fucking take it. Instead, he just throws it in the ground, throws it at the foot of a fucking defend, uh, uh, defender that's running at him or some shit. Like he, he doesn't take the, sh the chance of running with the ball. And look, it that that was my only frustration. Other than that, he played a great game. He played a decent game. Made that poor decision with that pick six. Uh, you could also attribute that to the Patriots defender just made one hell of a play. Uh, he, he fucking read that shit like a book and took off. He knew exactly where it was going. He beat him to it. He beat Derek Carr to the throw. Picked it off, ran it back. So, yeah, Derek Carr had a couple of bad mishaps here and there. Bad throws. Still has his three fucking don't know who the fuck that was to moments in the game. But once he got that out of the way, you know, he actually had some really good games. It was like he'd have a really good drive, uh, score, uh, score, get shut out in the next possession, get, have a really good drive, score, get shut out in the next possession. And then he got shut out for almost an entire half, guys. In the second half, when we got back, that was that was kind of a letdown. I'm not going to front. Our team in general, not just Derek Hart, our team got shut the fuck down in the second half. For There was a moment where they had 21 unanswered fucking points, guys. Just 21 unanswered points. Like, that, that, that was pretty bad. I honestly was... They took the lead. But, yo... Raiders came through with it, man. I, I gotta give it to a, or my Raiders, man. They they fucking grinded this one out. Something I haven't seen them do in a minute, and they fucking brought it within a tie and let them make a mistake. They let the fucking Patriots beat themselves by making a stupid decision. Man, that was beautiful. Man, that was beautiful. I I gotta I gotta say, man, that. Was, that was the thing of beauty. That was so fucking awesome to see them make a stupid decision like that and pay for it. Something they've been doing to teams for years. And that their opponent beat themselves. That's what the Patriots do, guys. That's what they're known for. And we did it to them. <laughs> that was fucking sweet. All right. That was fucking sweet. Over this, guys. Uh, that game ceiling interception by Chandler Jones might have just bought him another year. <laughs> another year. That that one play right there might have gave him a year's grace. All right. Raider Nation, y'all y'all are going to remember that fucking play. I'm telling you, for a while. That does not happen every fucking game. That kind of fucking play, that kind of fucking, that dramatic fashion ending that you don't see every day. That's gonna go. That's one for the memory books, man. Straight up, Chandler Jones with that pick caught the ball, <laughs> ran over to Mac Jones, said, "Get your bitch ass out of here!" <laughs> Stiff darned his ass into oblivion, and then ran his ass over to the fucking end zone and won us the game. One hell of a play. The, I, I applaud you, my friend. I applaud you for that one. That was amazing. Well, Derek Carr today was 20 of 38, 231 yards, and three touchdowns. I got to say, guys, he played very well today. Um, again, had a couple mishaps here and there. Had a couple uh, moments where I was like, ah, fucking Carr. But he got the job done, guys. Like, he got the job done. Uh I I gotta tell you, man. Uh, man, they still got it. Darren Waller, 
Darren Waller has that like, dude, I, I did not know he was that fast uh, speed, guys. <laughs> like, seriously, you could see it in the defender's face when he ran right past them and caught that touchdown. They're, they're like, someone that big, someone that tall has no business being that fast. And he, he just crept right by him and just took off to the end zone. Caught the ball. That was that. Uh, got to give it to him, man. Hell of a play. Hell of a play. But I got to tell you, man, that that clutch-ass fucking catch by Keelan Cole, the one that we all have been writing off and trashing, came through, though, man, in that clutch. I love the fact that the the referees did not fold over and give Belichick what he wanted. Now, I'm not going to front. He might have stepped out of bounds. Yeah, that, I'll be real with you. He might have stepped out of bounds. But here's the thing. You must have conclusive evidence to overturn a call on the field. That's something that you know a lot of people forget when it's actually the Raiders because usually it doesn't matter whether it's conclusive or not. If it's the fucking Raiders that did it, we don't fucking get those kind of calls. So that was very surprising that we actually did. Yo, that, that play was... That was pretty fucking clutch, man. That play was pretty fucking clutch. Got to give it to Josh Jacobs. Had a hell of a day, too. Uh, 22 carries for 93 yards, and that dude was he was grinding shit out. Uh, there were a couple bang-bang hits on him, man, and he just took it and just kept running. Uh, for the most part, when we had him in the first half, he was grinding out big chunk plays, uh, you know, getting us first downs, doing what he, doing what he had to do. Um... And I got to say, man, it looked good. It looked good. Problem was, uh, second half, they they kind of slowed him down, man. They didn't stop him, but they slowed him down. Uh, they managed to, you know, kind of put, put a little halt to his uh, first down conversions and put a little halt to his big chunk plays. But he was still running hard, man. Uh, shout out to Josh Jacobs. Always coming through for us, man. One hell of a fucking player. And you deserve that C on your chest, man. Mad respect for the players for actually calling out what's real. That man's a fucking captain. That man has been representing this team well enough to be the captain. So, uh, shout out to him. So, yeah, man, this game was it was a good fight, man. It was a hell of a fucking fight. This was like some UFC type shit, guys. Like, they were going blow for blow. Uh, so, shout out to the... All the fans out there that got to watch this shit live, I wish I was there, man. I wish I was there. That looked like one hell of an experience. Uh, yo, and uh, it, it was something else watching it uh, watching on TV, man. So uh, shout out to everybody that got to enjoy this. Uh, this was one hell of a game. This was one hell of a game, guys. Uh, I I had moments thought that we had that we lost this game because. How many times have we blown those 17 point leads and teams have just come back and beat the shit out of us and end up winning the game? And it looked like it was going to be another one of those. And our team said, nah, not this time, motherfucker. And they, they buckled down, got us onto a tie. And then they fucked, dude, they fucking won it, man. I got to say, came through in the clutch, came through in the fucking clutch. Uh, we need to play more like that, man. Play more like that. Don't play like the fucking season's over. Nah. Play like you don't want the season to end. Play like you got something to prove. Do something. That's all I'm asking. As a fan, I love the fact that these fucking players were grinding this game out. I love the fact that these players were fighting for every inch. I loved the passion I seen on this team today. Keep that shit up. That's all I'm saying. So, Hollins, one hell of a player, man. Uh, gotta say, he's shaping up really great, guys. Shout out to Mac Hollins for doing the dirty work. One of the announcers actually pointed out what this guy does. He does a lot of the unsung shit when it comes to being a wide receiver. That man blocks his fucking ass off. He blocks his fucking ass off. And then, like, he takes these hits like going in the middle, catching these balls, knowing that he's going to get lit up. And uh, he did one on right there to get that touchdown uh, going to the ground. Yo, I, I got to give it to him, man. That dude is one hell of a fucking Raider. Uh, shout out to Mac Collins. And shout out 
for the shit he does on special teams and special teams. Wow, man, y'all y'all played your fucking ass off today. Special teams basically did their fucking thing today, guys. Special teams got their block fucking punt. Man, they been getting close. They been getting real close. There was been so many times where it's like they were just right there. They were just right there. They got it done today, guys. They got it done today, and I got I got to give it to them, man. Wow. One, that's that's one hell of a way to show up, man. That's one hell of a way to show up. The way we won this game, guys, we didn't give up. That's one thing I've always prided myself about being a Raider fan. I don't give up on this team. I may I may have certain feelings. I may express certain feelings. I may say certain things about certain players sometimes because I feel a certain way. But I never give up on this team. I'll always be back every Sunday. I'll always be back to watch them play. I'll always rep my Raiders, period. We don't give up. And so I, I love to see that out of my team, grind it out like that. And then Hunter Renfro, man, um, you know, going back to the kickoff returns. Man, he's shifty as fuck. I fucking love Hunter Renfro. I don't want him doing kickoffs, but at the same time, yo, he you could tell he knows what the fuck he's doing back there, guys. I, I kind of respect Hunter Renfro for, you know, Catching the ball and just making a few, few guys miss, taking off, gaining seven yards or eight yards, nine yards, whatever you can to make sure we gain yards in the situation uh, where the bunch of fucking people coming at you and about to knock you down. You make sure that we actually gain yards. So I, I mad respect for him. He did have one little mishap where he let the ball kind of roll backwards and he should have caught it. But uh, it is what it is. Uh, shout out to Hunter Renfro for you know doing your thing, man. Once you get this rust dusted off, man. You'll be right back to the same old fucking third and Renfro. Can't wait. So, man, that was one hell of a game, guys. Raiders actually grinded one out. Uh, got that dub. And um, I just got to say, man, doesn't matter whether it's an inch. Doesn't matter whether it's a mile. Doesn't matter whether you made a stupid decision and decided to fucking lateral the ball and got intercepted and ran back for a touchdown. Winning is winning. <laughs> and man, it feels good. Shout out to everybody enjoying themselves in fucking Las Vegas right now. Y'all, yo, this was a wild one. Uh, much love to y'all. Uh, see you on the next video, guys. That's going to do it. Y'all know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Go Raiders.